The process to legally homeschool in Arkansas is relatively easy by following a few essential steps. Parents can homeschool under the homeschool statute. An annual written intent to homeschool must be on file with the local public school superintendent. Notification can be done by mail, email, in person, or electronically. A 14-day notice is necessary before public school withdrawal when a student is enrolled in public school. Homeschooling has many benefits that are often overlooked in comparison to public schooling. What is the Arkansas Homeschool Statute? The Arkansas Homeschool Statute is a regulated program that allows parents and legal guardians to homeschool a child rather than enrolling in public school. Children between the ages of 5 and 17 are required to attend an educational program. If a child turns 6 years old after the 1st of August, the parents can waive the required attendance for one more year. Any child that turns 6 before the 1st of August must enroll for the upcoming school year. To begin homeschooling, a written notice of intent to homeschool must be on file with the local public school superintendent no later than the 15th of August. There are no mandatory forms to be used for this notice of intent, but it is a good idea to use one for an outline of what information you must include. The Arkansas Department of Education is an excellent resource to find state educational forms if you are having trouble locating any. A written notice must be completed every year that a student is going to be homeschooled. The notification can be submitted to the superintendent via email, through standard mail, in person, or electronically when available. If you are still having trouble finding an intent to homeschool form, the information that you must include is the student's name, date of birth, gender, grade level, name and address of the school each child last attended if there is one, a statement from the parents accepting the responsibility of the child's education, a statement of any plans of the child to participate in public school interscholastic activities, a statement of plans for the child to pursue a GED if close to a graduation date, homeschool mailing address, current telephone number, name and signature of the person providing homeschooling to the child. When a student is transitioning out of public school and into homeschool, the notice of intent to homeschool must be completed 14 days before a formal withdrawal. A withdrawal form can be completed at the same time as the 14-day notice, but take note that the student must continue to attend public school until the last day of the 14-day notice has ended. Some superintendents will waive the 14-day notice depending on situations and circumstances. A new notice of intent will need to be on file with the latest local superintendent should an out-of-county move take place at any time during or before public school has started. While homeschooling, a parent is responsible for maintaining student documents, attendance records, creating transcripts, and issuing diplomas. These records may be requested in situations where necessary, such as driver's education, enlisting in the military, applying to colleges, or showing eligibility for Social Security benefits. Homeschoolers are not required to take any standardized tests. Still, if a student or parent wants to evaluate the student's progress, they are welcome to call local schools for testing schedules and recommendations for testing facilities that work with homeschool families. The minimum required days and hours for students who attend public school can vary from those that homeschool. Kindergarteners must attend a six-hour day, four to five days a week, averaging around 180 days every school year. First grade through 12th grade is to attend six hours a day, five days a week, for 178 days. A homeschool schedule can look similar to a public school schedule should the parent and student choose, or it can be adjusted to work in favor of maximized learning routines. The average homeschool schedule consists of two to three hour days, four to five days a week, with 120 to 160 days for a school year. Parents do not need any teacher qualifications to homeschool. Where do I find homeschool curriculum? To start looking for a homeschool curriculum, consider starting an online search of popular and well-rated programs or companies. 
A local library is also an excellent resource for free information and borrowed materials to help with lessons. Other free resources include Duolingo and Khan Academy. An online, tuition-free option of public school that is still considered homeschool is the Arkansas Virtual Academy. The Arkansas Virtual Academy serves K-12, is teacher-led, supports a school community, follows a class schedule, and offers materials to be used at home to qualifying families. Young learners just beginning their educational journey will be excited to learn when they sign in to ABC Mouse. For a small monthly membership fee, children will learn through interactive lessons teaching reading, science, math, and colors. From the same company is an interactive learning experience for children 8 to 13 with Adventure Academy. Alpha Omega Publications is a Christian-based company with online, digital, student-paced, and teacher-led homeschool curriculum. If creating an individualized curriculum sounds better than a pre-packaged one, Schoolhouse Teachers has a great list of age and grade level courses that can be printed for use or viewed online through a single parent sign-on. The list of homeschool options continues beyond this one. It is best to determine what kind of homeschool education your child will learn better from and what classes you would like to be available outside of the four core subjects, language arts, science, math, and social studies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please stop by our site for more homeschooling info. If you are interested in a Christian, self-paced, online homeschooling course with customizable curriculum, just follow the link in the description.